All right, now we're moving to step eight. Uh, for this one, we're going to be looking at a track and field, a uh, series of track and field events, um, and then uh, we'll need to convert those into different kind of measurements. Um, so, start with uh, A, where it says you can jump 5.92 meters. What is your jump length in feet and in yards? So, because what was the initial measurement? Five point. Okay. So A is five point nine two meters, and I'm going to first convert that into feet. And so for that, I have a direct conversion from meters to feet. Looking at my conversion sheet, I see that one meter is 3.28 feet. That would be for miles. Miles has the MI, meters has just the M. I just forgot my own conversion. Uh, 3.28. So one meter is 3.28 feet. Put that in my calculator, cross out meters and meters, 5.92 is 19.41, I'll round that to 19.42, 19.42 feet is my first answer. And then ask me to convert that into um, yards. So I'll say 19.42 feet. And I know this conversion off the top of my head. Uh, three feet is one yard. And so that equals, take that same number, now I'm going to be dividing by three. And I got 6.47. Six. Seven yards. And that's my second answer. Make sure you box both of your answers that you get in this one. All right, moving on to B. It says, how many yards must you run to complete a 100 meter dash? All right, so here I'm going to be using the exact same conversion factors. But I'm actually going to use them twice. So I start out with 100 meters, and I need to convert that into feet. So I'm going to go, well, okay, great question. So I can't be yards because um, I don't, on my chart, I don't have a conversion directly from meters into yards. If I did, I could do that. Um, but I don't actually know that conversion, so I need to convert first from meters to feet and then from feet to yards. So let's see here. I go 100 meters, and make sure I'm back on the video. Uh, use that same conversion. One meter is 3.28 feet. Cross out meters. How many feet? I want to go to yards. I say one foot is three yards. I got something wrong. Ah, whoops. Three feet is one yard. That's the problem. Three feet, one yard. So in my calculator, it's 100 times 3.28 divided by 3. That gives me 109.3. And then units was yards. All right, moving on to C. All right, women's uh, world record high jump is six foot ten and a quarter inches. What's the record in meters, inches, meters, meter? All right. 
And this is another one we've got to do a couple different conversions here. Six foot ten and a quarter is my initial measurement. Let's see here. C said six feet ten and one four inches. Um, and as I'm doing this, remember that a single tick mark here stands for feet. The little quotation mark stands for inches. Uh, so first, I need to get everything together in feet. Uh, so um, to do that, I need to convert this 10 and a quarter inches into feet because uh, I already have my six in feet. Uh, so first, I'm going to do 104 for a quarter is 0 0.25. So I'm converting 10.25 inches into feet. And so I'll say... 12 inches is one foot. So I'm going to say 10.25 divided by 12 gives me 0.85. But then I need to add my six feet back into that. And so I end up with 6.85 feet. All right, 6.85 feet is my um, is that measurement in feet, and it asked me, yes, ma'am. So we already had six feet, and then I have 0.85 here. Mm -hmm. Now I want to convert again to meters, and so we say 3.28 feet is one meter and then I just say 6.85 divided by 3.28 equals 2.088 and it asked me for the answer in hundredths yes nearest hundredths of a meter and so that's going to be 2.09 that's my answer for C. All right, go ahead. So you did that. Yes, one over four to get the point two five. Yes. Yeah. So I converted this fraction into decimals first, and then I converted the decimal inches into decimal feet. Then I added that original foot back in, so now I had the whole thing in decimal feet. I did the ten. The 10.25 was in inches, and so I converted that whole thing into uh, feet right here. All right, moving on to D. How many meters is equivalent to a mile? Get your answer to the nearest meter. So, back to here. So, we want to go from miles to meters. So, I'm starting out with one mile. And we do not have, I don't think, let's just check. I don't think we have a conversion directly from miles to meters. But we do have miles to feet. And we have feet to meters. And so we can use that to do um, this whole thing. Or we can use miles and kilometers and then go kilometers to meters. And because I've not used that conversion factor yet on these videos, I'm going to try that one. So I'm going to go miles to kilometers and then kilometers to meters. Back here. Okay, so... It said one mile is, I'm sorry, one kilometer is 0 0.621 miles. So I put 0 0.621 miles down here, one kilometer up here. And then to go from kilometers to meters, that's where I need to use my uh, prefix on down here. That's my prefixes. So kilo is a thousand. So they're in. 
one kilometer, or 1,000 meters. Cross out miles, miles, kilometers, kilometers, and now I've got my answer in meters, which is what I want. So I will say 1 divided by 0.621 times 1,000. Oh, I did times 100. 1 divided by 0.621. 1 times 1,000 is 1,610 meters. for D. All right, and let's do E. Ooh, this is a good one. This is asking us to convert the length of a marathon into kilometers. I know this one very well personally because I am currently training for a marathon. Robert, you could have said RR to RR, and that would have been really cool. I know, I know. I know. It could be RR to RR, and you'd be like, all right, now that we've taken care of that, let's actually do the work. So E, uh, so we start out with 26.2 miles, which if anybody is not sure about, that is a lot of miles to run. Um, and then it asked me to convert to kilometers, is that right? Uh, yes, in kilometers. So this one's actually a little bit easier, because I just used that same conversion I just used, um, and don't even need to convert to, mer not convert to meters. So I say 0 0.621 miles over one kilometer. Cross out miles. And 26.2 divided by 0.621 gives me 42.2. One nine. Can you tell me how much it wants me to round that to? No, so I'm going to round the same number of decimal points that was in miles. So round it to uh, one decimal point. So it'll be 42.2 kilometers. That's my answer for E. And that completes step eight. Yes, you always want to, before you start doing unit conversion, you want to get everything into decimals um, and everything all into the same units. So you either need to get all into decimal inches or all into decimal feet before you start doing unit conversion. And special thanks to Jakayla for uh, asking great questions and helping out with this video.